For those that have been keeping up in the anime community over the last week, we've been getting character visuals released daily for the Kaiju Number no. 8 anime adaptation, a series that I have very much been enjoying the manga of. Got volume 2 and 3 in the background there, and I do now have up to volume 5. Everything I've read, I really enjoyed, and I've been very excited for this anime adaptation. That is until now, when these character visuals were revealed. Let's talk about them. Before I get into it though, I want to hear your thoughts, so head on down to the comment section below and let me know what you think of these character designs, if you've seen them, which you probably have. And while you're there, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. Okay, so throughout the week from Sunday through to I think Friday, we got six character visuals revealed. So I'm going to go through these individually, starting off with the first thing that was revealed and that was number eight. I don't love it but it's not terrible. Especially when I look at the top half. Like the top half, you take away the legs. I think this is a pretty good look. There's nothing to really hate about this. And then you go to the lower half and it's a problem with all of them as we'll talk about. The legs just look too long. The, the body proportions compared to the legs, they just don't look right. The legs just don't have enough going on. There's not enough detail there. That is my problem with it. And I think it is the length that, that ultimately, that is what really turns me off is the length of the legs. They just, it, the body proportions overall, just don't look right but as a whole i think number eight's design is solid it's not amazing it's also not horrible <sighs> now we move on to kafka Ipinu, our lead protagonist of the series uh, they screwed this one up uh, every time i look at it i just dislike it that much more look at the proportions and it's the same on all of them i think the proportions just don't look right the shoulders just not broad enough not that kafka is a huge built out dude but he's supposed to be a soldier Granted, he's not the greatest soldier there is. Even if you just consider his job as a, a kaiju cleanup person, whatever you want to call it, you still need to be somewhat built to be able to carry some of these things around. I guess I'll mention it now. The character designer here is the same one as Naruto and Boruto. Nothing against those series. I have no agenda against them or anything like that. Not even a agenda against the character designs there. This was a horrible choice. That character designer just does not fit for Kaiju number eight. And um, I don't know whether I've mentioned it before, I probably have. And it's why I said that I wanted Bones to actually animate this. I think that the My Hero Academia aesthetic just perfectly fits Kaiju number eight. Take that character designer. I think you could have done a great job at um, taking the manga designs and faithfully adapting them into an anime. But you look at this, it just looks goofy, like really goofy. The nose doesn't look right. The chin, far too rounded. The face, I mean, I, I get that Kafka is sort of a comedic relief character in a lot of cases, and he is a little bit goofy. This just screams, how can we make it very obvious that this character is goofy? Let's make this character design. And, and that's what I look at. I, I just look at the face in particular, it looks horrible. The proportions, the, the, the body, just the... <sighs> It sucks, man. Like, this is a awful, awful character design. And you look at him in the manga and just compare it. It's like, how do you take the manga version and make this out of it? Then we move on to Mina Ashura, who I would say is a little bit of an improvement. Still not great. The eyes, that's where you can see the Naruto inspiration, I think, with the eyes, especially with this character. But I just think the body. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say she needs massive sex appeal or anything like that. That's not the problem here. Once again, it's the shoulders. The body seems to stick like. I say that in a way where it lacks natural proportion to it if that makes sense no kind of like the muscle definition or body definition or anything like that then we move on to reno ichikawa not the worst not horrible it just doesn't look badass enough the hair looks a bit too flattened down once again the, the chin's a problem the whole like facial look and once again it's just the body the bodies just don't look right everyone just looks far too thin there's no muscle definition there or anything it just it does not look right and then we move on to possibly the most heartbreaking one Kikaru. Probably my favourite character in the manga. She's good as comedic relief, which is also incredibly badass, and just a cool character. I, I just love her. She's just very likeable as well. They massively screwed up this one. I mean, just look at the face on that. Granted, it's more of a side profile. The Boruto Naruto aesthetic just does not fit Kaiju number 8. It's awful. Like, I cannot look at this character and think, what a badass. And it's a, it's a shame, because like I said, she's probably my favourite character in the manga. And last but certainly not least, we have Commander Hoshino, who once again really love the character. He's a total badass and just really cool. I don't want to say this is the best design because I think the number eight design is far and away the best one out of them all. But in terms of the you know human characters, this is fairly on point. Now you look at the face and it's not perfect, but I, I look at that and I see Hoshino and I see the manga Hoshino. I think the chin once again is a problem. The chin is too rounded. That's just a problem with them all. Once again, it's the aesthetics. And I think he looks too young 
like granted he looks like a youngish character you kind of look at him in the manga and he's an adult he's really really cool and badass and obviously a very capable individual there's even a certain panel where i think he's like working out or something this dude's pretty built i look at this guy here and it just looks too skinny this is one of the better designs out of them all i look at none of these designs and think these are really badass characters that can take on these giant monsters no i don't see that at all like with any of them you, you have someone like mina and hoshina these are supposed to be really badass, incapable individuals that are military. This was a bit of a rant video. I just kind of need to get my thoughts out on these designs because this is like pent up feelings, built up feelings over the course of a week of seeing daily designs and some of these characters that I love being completely butchered for their anime adaptation. I'm not someone who will say, you know, oh, the manga is always better and all this kind of stuff. I'm not like a, a manga kind of loyalist type person where i never am willing to give things a chance and with these we're not seeing any of this in motion so who knows in animation when we see you know a trailer that showcases some of these characters in motion maybe it'll look a lot better i can get on board with number eight that's fine everyone else i just don't vibe with before i do get out here though i'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and japanese gaming content and want to see plenty more kaiju number eight coverage in the future as when we do get new information concerning the anime I will talk about it, hopefully it's good news, but in the case of this, of course, unfortunately it wasn't. Above all else, I want to hear from you guys, so head on down to the comment section below. After discussing these designs in depth, what are your thoughts on them? Do you hate them as much as I do, or do you actually vibe with them, and are you willing to give them a chance? As always, thank you so much for tuning into Chat today, and I'll see you all in the next video.